Okay, we are live because I see it up there. It says recording. I am here with the one and only Mr. Mitan, Joe Tritola. We're in a very different environment here. I don't know if you can see in the background. It is Austin, Texas. We are at the Digital VGA Mastermind. Um, a lot of great content. Joanna was just on stage talking about Medicare. Um, thought we'd do it a little bit different here today. We got the agent spotlight of the week. We have one of our final expense producers. He's a monster out there in the field. And uh, he's going to tell you all about it. So we always start with the first question and tell everybody that's watching. We get about 100 views or so. Tell everybody that's watching, what attracted you to insurance? What got you into the insurance industry? Well, initially, um, I was living in Portland, Oregon, and I was working for a company that was selling business loans over the phone. Um, the company went under, and one of my good friends was selling life insurance at the time with a company called WFG. Um, he persuaded me to get my life insurance license, and then I eventually got started with that. Um, I started initially selling mortgage protection in Portland. And for those of you that know, WFG is World Financial Group. Yeah. Business model similar to PHP and, you know, the others that work within that niche market. Exactly. But I started with them, and then I, I did mortgage protection for my first couple of weeks in the business. And ever since my first month, I'd say that third week. I was kind of hooked you know, to that, and I just stuck with insurance ever since then. It's, it's been about four years now. So and you've had a good run in the four years. Your agency, um, when we brought you guys over, you guys were a top 25 at the other group that you guys came from. A million and like million two premium, free, free writing agents. So quite a bit of uh, premium. What would you say has been your challenge? Uh, the biggest challenge is finding quality leads, um, at least from my own personal experience. I've probably dealt with over 100 different lead vendors <laughs> at least in the last few years. Um, and you just have to find one that you can really trust and one that's going to work for you. Um, a lot of people prefer Facebook leads to direct mail and vice versa. Um, personally, I always use direct mail, uh, but it, it each leads different for everybody. And so that's going to be one of your biggest challenges is your marketing. That's always, yeah. yeah. Marketing is the, the, the lifeblood of all of that we do. In fact, at the conference that we're in today, there's a heavy emphasis on the leads and the marketing. And there's really no, you know, what is the best lead out there? There's really no right answer to that question. The, que the answer to the question is, what is the best lead for you? And what is the best lead that you have the ability to work? And I talk about this all the time. You know, I'm really good on the telephone, but you put me with a direct mail card, I'm not the best. You know, I'm not the expert in that. There are other people that have mastered it better than me. So it's always the best lead that's good for you. Absolutely. Which brings me to my next question. And that is, what would you say would be the one thing, or of course, many things, but the one thing that stands out that's been very successful for you? Um, I'd say consistency. Um, I'd say making a schedule that's the same every single week, week in and week out, and doing the same thing on certain days of this week. That's probably the biggest key to being successful, I think, is just setting up your own schedule and setting up a, a pattern of things that you do that works for you um, so that you can become successful. Um, personally, Mondays and Tuesdays for me, I stay at home and I do admin work and I make my phone calls. Um, and then Wednesday through Friday, I do my appointments. And then the weekends, I just take off most of the time, unless I have all up to do with a client or something like that. But consistency is the best. So what I hear you saying is you go to work. Yep. Right? Monday through Friday. Full time, right? Every day of the week, like everybody else that works. Yeah. And because you go to work, you have success, right? Who knew? <laughs> Who knew, right? We go to work and we, we're successful. It was that easy, right? Um, so it brings me to my final question. Um, what advice would you give to the new agent that's just starting out? Uh, maybe he's thinking about selling final expense, mortgage protection, life insurance. They're not really sure where to go. They're not really sure what IMO to pick or what mentor to pick. What advice would you give to that new agent? Um, I'd say do your research. Um, I'd say shop around a little bit, find out more about contracting and stuff like that. Um, but most importantly, find yourself somebody that you can, you can trust and rely on to answer your phone calls when you need help. Um, that's going to be the biggest thing. There's a lot of people that get into this industry, and the main reason why people fail is because they don't have the support network. Um, so find yourself somebody that's already doing it that you can actually trust and help you out and teach you those first initial steps because nobody does this by themselves um, in the beginning at least. Uh, that's that's going to be the most important part is find yourself a very good mentor that you can trust and kind of get those steps. And if somebody wanted to pick you as a mentor, what market are you in right now so that they all know that uh, if they were in the same market as you, they can tap into you for that mentorship? Um, I just do final expense. That's mm -hmm. pretty much the bulk of what I do. And what part of the country? Florida. Florida. 
So if you're a Florida agent and you're looking to get in a final expense, private message this guy. Um, and if you're not in Florida and you are the right candidate, I can tell you that him and his agency uh, have been known to fly out and personally train agents in Texas and DC and Virginia and other areas of the country where they would spend a week running leads to show exactly how the job is done. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. Who does that? Who gets on an airplane to fly out the train here? This guy doesn't, but this guy does. So listen, I appreciate everything. It's good to meet you out here. It's good to meet the team out here. Looking forward to spending some more time with you guys tonight and tomorrow night. And uh, looking forward to a very long lasting relationship with all of you. So say goodbye. Yeah.